There's another account of favor that is in the Bible, Esther. And many times when people talk about Esther, they speak of Esther's favor as just purely supernatural. People even pray about the anointing of Esther. They call it the anointing of favor. But can we see what the Bible says for itself? Then there was a time in history where the king's wife, Vatshi, had messed up and the king wanted another queen. Ladies were enlisted. I think it was announced all over. So if you think you qualify to be the king's queen, come. You need to be a virgin. Esther got there, got to where they were camped. In Esther chapter number 2 from verse 9, look at it. They all got there and everybody was doing their thing. You brought your own thing. You know you're a fine girl. Everybody in your family told you, except that they were lying to you. Saying of Esther now, it says, all the women gathered there. Where's my room? Where's my room? Well, God, give me my key. Give me my food. Give me my bed. Everybody was doing their thing. You know the thing you're doing? Like, an amigo wing. You know that kind of feeling. But it was said of Esther that the young woman pleased him. Please the custodian. He was also a eunuch. And she obtained his favor. Now this favor was not supernatural. The favor Esther obtained was because she was of good behavior. She was not sassy. She was not... Um, uh, hello? Dow, the Dow generation. She had favor. So he readily gave beauty preparations to her. He had a job to give to everyone. But he gave to Esther first. Now, he now gave Esther more beauty preparations besides her allowance, at least what she was meant to receive. Then seven choice maid servants were provided for her from the king's palace. And he moved her and her maid to the best place in the house of the woman. Can you see how Esther obtained favor? What earned her favor first was good what? Behavior. As much as favor is supernatural, favor is also behavioral. So she was there for 12 months. If she was hiding her behavior in 12 months, it would have been seen. Am I right? So it means that she was properly cultured. So the whole idea was that after you're there for 12 months, when it is time, you'll be sent to the king. you spend a night with the king. So some of these girls, before they left home, their mother would have told them, see, this is how to undo a man at night. She would have communicated. This is how to do this. This is what to say. This is what to touch. This is how to move. So they came prepared. But when favor is at work in a man's life or a woman's life, the Lord will begin to introduce someone that knows the king to you. That will really tell you what the king wants. So many of them went in there already like, ah, tonight, Oba Yagba, that king will know that he has met somebody tonight. So some of them went in with the mentality like, okay, tonight sex will be terrible. Tonight whatever will be this. Tonight this will be that. They went with all kinds of thought. But Esther had access to someone that knew the king's art. The king custodian told Esther, these are the things you should go with. You don't need to go with um, massage oil. You don't need to go with this. You don't need to do this. The king does not want this. The king does not want that. After Esther was properly schooled, it was time for her to go in. They asked Esther, what are the things you need to go in with? Read what the Bible says yourself. Now when the turn came for Esther, the daughter of Abia, right? The uncle of Medecai, who had taken her as his daughter to go into the king. She requested nothing but what, what? A guy, the king's eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised. And the Bible says she obtained favor in the sight of all who now what? Saw her. Now this is now supernatural favor. Our journey there started with behavior of favor. Favor that came because she was well behaved. The next thing was now supernatural favor was on her. But she had wise counsel to know what the king really wants. And she went there. And Esther went in. Took the counsel of a man who knew the heart of the king. And Esther came back with favor.